Brothers and sisters, here in the campus of, of Adventist University of the Philippines, the Lord has given us a revelation. Personally, He has given me a revelation to share to all of you. This revelation may be heavy to hear, but please, in these last days, hear what the Spirit speaks unto the churches. Um, the revelation given by God is in this generation, we have a high tendency to lightly regard sin. The sin that nailed Jesus to the cross, the sin that breaks God's heart. In Isaiah 56 verse 1 and 2, it says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. As what you can see, God is so willing to pour out, so willing to help us, so willing to listen to us. But verse 2 says, But your iniquities have separated you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Friends, God did not change his mind. Sin breaks his heart right now as it broke his heart before. One speaker in the first College of Medicine graduation said a heartbreaking statement for me. How can you tell if you're so close to God? It is when what breaks his heart breaks your own. Brothers and sisters, does sin break our heart the same way it breaks God's heart? Have we lightly regarded the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross? Have we lightly regarded what He has done for our salvation? You know, in the time of Romans, the Romans were experts in torture. And crucifixion was at the top. They were so good in torturing that they will make sure you feel the pain every moment. Yet Jesus, looking, looking at Jesus, He was emotionally, physically, mentally, and even spiritually tired right there. All the agencies of Satan was there just to get him to commit one sin. But he endured that pain for us. He endured. He could not endure seeing us separated forever from him, my brothers and sisters. Please, when, as the Spirit is calling us right now, do not disregard the sacrifice of Jesus. Are our sins so precious? Are our sins so valuable? To exchange for the death of Jesus on the cross. To exchange for our salvation in the end. Jesus wants us to be reunited with Him, my brothers and sisters. If this does not reach out to your heart, please, I beg of you, for at least for once, and even until Jesus comes, hear what the Spirit is speaking unto you today. One thing that I have observed, it, it looks as if um, Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 ends on a negative note. God is willing to hear and willing to do, but our sins have separated us and has seen his face that he cannot hear. Then we say, I am a sinner. I am not perfect. Then where is my hope? Will God not listen to me forever because of my sins? Brothers and sisters, here is the answer. In 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and will heal their land. One reality of the world today is we want the results. We want God to hear from heaven, to forgive our sins and to heal our land. Then the world will blame, Lord, Look at COVID-19. Why aren't you healing our land? A painful reality as well. Looking at the verse, we see that before God heals our land, He asks of a repentant heart. Looking at this verse, we can divide it into two, into two categories. It is what God can give and what He pleads that we will do. If my people, which are called by my name, shall first humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. That's what He calls us to do. Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and will heal their land. 
have we been demanding the results without doing the process the Lord asks us to give? Are we too prideful to humble ourselves, to seek our face, to pray, to turn from their wicked, our wicked ways? The Lord does not want us to stay as we are in these last days, my brothers and sisters. He wants us to be reunited from Him. He does not want sin to separate us forever. Now today, if the Spirit is calling you, Hebrews 3 verse 15 says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. It is high time right now to turn back to God, for He loves you so much, my dear brother and sister.